The Miocene epoch, lasting from about 23.03 to 5.333 million years ago, is the first epoch of the Neogene period. This epoch marks a crucial period in Earth's development, during which climate, tectonic activities, and evolutionary processes merge to alter both land and ocean ecosystems. Scottish geologist Charles Lyell named the Miocene, deriving from the Greek words mean, less, and kainos, new. These terms highlight the epoch's smaller percentage of contemporary marine invertebrates compared to the later Pliocene. While the Miocene did not feature sudden global disasters, its transitions were gradual yet significantly transformed the planet's biological and geological landscape. Positioned between the hotter Oligocene and the cooler Pliocene, the Miocene encapsulates an important era of climatic cooling and tectonic movements. As continents shifted and collided, new mountain ranges emerged, ocean currents changed direction, and global weather patterns adjusted accordingly. These tectonic shifts greatly impacted both landscapes and life. Grasslands expanded while tropical forests diminished, fostering evolutionary advancements among herbivores and predators. In marine environments, kelp forests thrived and contributed to rich ocean biodiversity. Most importantly, the Miocene set the groundwork for hominin evolution, paving the way for later human developments. This video posits that the Miocene epoch marks a significant evolutionary and environmental threshold in Earth's past, defined by notable tectonic shifts, climatic changes, and exceptional biological diversification, particularly in mammals and aquatic life. The cumulative effects of this epoch continue to enhance our understanding of climate science, biogeography, and evolution. The Miocene epoch is particularly significant for its tectonic events, which fundamentally reconfigured Earth's physical environment and shaped biogeographic trends. A notable occurrence was the collision of the Afro-Arabian Plate with Eurasia, a process that closed the seaway between the Mediterranean and Indian Oceans. This tectonic interaction promoted faunal exchanges between Africa and Eurasia while facilitating the rise of new mountain ranges, including parts of the Alps, Zagros, and Himalayas. The ongoing elevation of the Himalayas throughout the Miocene played a critical role in intensifying the South Asian monsoon, an atmospheric phenomenon still evident today. These tectonic transformations were essential in isolating or reconnecting various regions, thus impacting evolutionary trajectories. For instance, elevated mountain ranges formed barriers resulting in speciation events, while the land bridge between Africa and Eurasia allowed migrations of elephants, antelopes, and hominoids. Additionally, the formation and closure of the Tethys Seaway, a vital marine corridor, altered ocean currents and influenced the changing climate patterns throughout the epoch. Ultimately, these geological processes initiated both local and global modifications, creating diverse ecological niches prompting evolutionary adaptations within numerous species. The Miocene climate experienced a long-term cooling trend that shaped modern ecosystems. Unlike the predominantly warm Oligocene, the Miocene experienced a slow transition toward cooler and drier conditions, foreshadowing glaciations in the Pliocene and Pleistocene. This climatic transformation significantly impacted plant life. Tropical forests diminished, giving rise to expanding grasslands and savannas across Asia, Africa, and North America. 
Consequently, these open habitats favored the development of grazing mammals, including horses, antelopes, and early elephants, which evolved high-crowned teeth suited for digesting tough grasses. Alongside terrestrial ecosystems, marine environments were also reshaped by the cooling climate. A significant marine advancement of this epoch was the rise of kelp forests in cooler coastal waters. These underwater ecosystems became biodiversity hotspots, supporting sea otters, pinnipeds, including seals and sea lions, and various fish and invertebrates. During this period, ocean circulation patterns also varied, promoting nutrient upwelling in several regions and enhancing marine productivity. Although these changes were gradual, they were transformative and laid the foundation for modern terrestrial and marine ecosystems. Biological evolution in the Miocene thrived, characterized by a surge in mammalian diversity and the emergence of new primate lineages. In terrestrial environments, the transition to grassland habitats sparked adaptive radiation among herbivores. Parasodactyls, such as horses and rhinoceroses, and artiodactyls, such as deer, pigs, and camels, thrived, while predatory mammals like hyenas, saber-toothed cats, and bear dogs adapted to hunt these expanding herbivore populations. Particularly intriguing is the diversification of hominoids, tailless apes, during the Miocene. Early in this epoch, Genera like Proconsul and Merodopithecus emerged in Africa, exhibiting adaptations for tree dwelling life. As the epoch progressed, apes spread into Eurasia, leading to forms like Dryopithecus and Sivipithecus, some exhibiting close ties to modern great apes. By the late Miocene, around 7 to 6 million years ago, a significant divergence occurred. The evolutionary split between the ancestors of modern humans, Homo, and chimpanzees, Pan. Although fossils from this period are sparse, evidence suggests early hominins, such as Ceylanthropus chidensis, may have already adopted bipedal locomotion, a crucial milestone in human evolution. Among the most striking events of the Miocene is the Messinian salinity crisis occurring during the Messinian stage, approximately 5.96 to 5.33 million years ago. Tectonic activity that closed the connection between the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea led to evaporation surpassing inflow, nearly desiccating the Mediterranean basin. The resulting vast salt deposits serve as geological records, indicating the region's transformation into a desert-like landscape. This crisis profoundly affected regional climates, oceanic salinity, and the species relying on Mediterranean ecosystems. Many marine species faced extinction, while terrestrial creatures migrated across newly exposed land into the basin. Abruptly, the crisis ended with the Zanclean flood at the Miocene-Pliocene boundary. The Atlantic Ocean rushed through the Strait of Gibraltar, refilling the Mediterranean in a catastrophic flood that likely occurred within months to a few years. Geological records suggest water flowed in at rates up to 100 million cubic meters per second. This event not only restored marine habitats but reshaped the climates of southern Europe and North Africa. The Messinian salinity crisis and subsequent Zanclean flood exemplify the strong connections between tectonics, climate, and biological dynamics throughout Earth's history. Some interpretations of Miocene evolution suggest that biological diversification was influenced more by random events or isolated migrations than by systemic environmental changes. Such perspectives often downplay the roles of climate and tectonics as primary drivers of evolution. 
However, these views face increasing challenges from fossil, isotopic, and sedimentary evidence that links faunal turnover and adaptive radiation directly to climatic and geological influences. For example, the expansion of sea grasslands, plants adapted to arid conditions and high sunlight, occurred alongside the rise of herbivores capable of digesting such vegetation. Furthermore, sea level changes and altered basin morphology due to tectonic activity consistently correlate with marine extinction and radiation events. While randomness undoubtedly influences evolutionary history, the overarching impact of Miocene environmental transformations is both pervasive and well documented. This perspective strengthens the argument that the Miocene was not merely a stage for random evolutionary experiments but rather a coherent epoch of biological and environmental change driven by identifiable forces. The Miocene epoch, stretching from around 23 to 5.3 million years ago, signifies a foundational chapter in Earth's geological and evolutionary timeline. It was characterized by substantial tectonic shifts, including the collision of the Afro-Arabian and Eurasian plates and the uplift of major mountain ranges. These developments reshaped global maps while altering oceanic and atmospheric systems. The long-term cooling trend during this epoch transformed forests into grasslands and catalyzed the evolution of diverse new plant and animal species. This epoch also saw groundbreaking biological innovations, from the diversification of hominoids to the emergence of kelp forests that transformed marine environments. Events like the Messinian salinity crisis and Zanclean flood highlight the scale of geological transformations that transpired, while fossil evidence continually affirms the evolutionary significance of the Miocene. Given the geological upheavals, climatic alterations, and evolutionary milestones discussed, the Miocene should be seen as a vital transitional epoch. It bridged the ancient world of the Oligocene with the progressive era of the Pliocene, actively shaping the biological, atmospheric, and geographic realities we experience today. The legacy of this epoch continues to inform scientific perspectives on evolutionary biology, paleoclimatology, and plate tectonics. As we confront rapid climate change and biodiversity loss today, the Miocene serves as a valuable historical case study in environmental transformation and resilience. It reminds us that while Earth's systems are dynamic and adaptive, they are also intricately interconnected. A deep understanding of past epochs like the Miocene empowers us to face current ecological challenges with insightful awareness grounded in our planet's rich history. If this video captured your interest and you wish to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your subscription will notify you whenever we upload new videos. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in our upcoming video.